friends, it's Patty. Today I'm going to be working in this art journal, and if you'd like to see that process, keep watching. Hi, my video starts a little abruptly um, because it was a continuation of a previous video. So I thought I'd do a new intro and also talk a little bit about the gesso that I use in this video. So what it is, is any kind of gesso, white gesso and um, a drop or two of these different pigments from folk art. And um, got yellow ochre, raw sienna, and raw umber. And I just drop a little bit and then I mix until it's at the color that I like and it just it takes a lot of the white out of it and it kind of antiques the um, page a little bit and just adds a little bit of something extra to um, kind of a bright page if you want to tone it down a little bit. So um, that's how I make that and I so it okay so I hope that you'll enjoy my video of a new page spread and um, let's get, let's, oh my gosh. So I hope you like my, <clears throat> so I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. Watching. Okay, so um, this is the next page in this that isn't done yet. And so I'm going to go ahead and start on this and see what I can come up with. Uh, let me show you a few things. I took this off of another page that was just not working for me. I was really unhappy with the direction that this journal was going in. So I did remove a couple of pages. Some of them I popped into a different art journal that I use for something completely different. But um, a couple of them I just kind of just took them apart. And so um, this is one of the things that I took off of one of the pages. And the reason why just a minute. The reason why I decided that I wanted to work in this journal, um, this is going to be the one that I work through for the next few videos because it needs to be um, finished up. And it's a, it's a, it really is a challenge for me to work on these larger um, uh, pages. But um, it needs to be done. There are pages in here that I really do like the way they turned out. This is one. I'm go what I'm going to be doing today, though, is I have this tinted gesso. Um, it's just white gesso, and I put um, folk art tints in it, um, like rust and, and different colors, and then I mix them up, and it kind of just gives it an aged look. So I'm going to be putting that on this page and see how that looks, and then I'm going to start embellishing. So let's get started. This is one of the things I like about these types of journals is you can flop them around like this and when you're working on one um, page at a time, you can have it down on the surface. What I'm looking for right now is my little cards that I was going to use to, oh here they are. Okay, so I just use, you know, these old cards that you used to get when you were, had a membership to get the paint on there. See that's that's some of the tint coming through. I didn't it didn't just didn't mix very well. Yeah, I know I could use a um a paintbrush, but for some reason I just like the I like the kind of uneven look that you get from just using a card and scrape. I used to use a a putty knife and then I discovered these on some videos. There, just to give it a little something. Okay, so I'm gonna get my dryer and I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see the, um, the gesso 
wrinkled up this thin, it's thin paper, but I really like, this is one of my favorite paper pages, one of my favorite papers. Um, so once I start getting stuff on there, that won't bother me so much. So I'm going to get some stuff on the, um, I'm, I'm looking over here at how I stenciled. And I really like the way that looks, but I'm not prepared for stenciling today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just get some tissue paper on here that kind of might bring these colors over here so it looks a little more cohesive. It's one of the challenges that I really love is to see if I can make the pages kind of come together somehow. So. I think I'm just going to use that. I can keep doing that all day. A lot of times I'll use matte medium to do that, but I'm finding that um, glue sticks work just as well. So I'll do that. You can, you can get a more transparent um, uh, look with matte medium. It melts into the page a lot better. But I really don't want to wait for the drawing. This dries a lot faster. So I'm going to be very try to be very transparent about this. Um, these are all I'm going to show these three are all um, from projects that I tore out of those projects because I wasn't happy with the way they looked. And so that's one of the reasons why I decided I wanted to use this larger journal because I want to ha find a home for these. I like I like them. I just have not been happy with where I had put them <laughs> when I made them. So, and they they all have this vintage vibe, which is pretty cool. And uh, I think it would go with that very, very well. So I'm going to get this out of here because I'm thinking I might do something along those lines so that that's up there and then she's kind of popped in there. See if I like that like she's part of the gang and then try to get something over in here so let's see if I want to do it this way yeah maybe I'll do it that way because their outfits are kind of boring oh that's kind of pretty I think I like that so I didn't really need to do that but it does give it a little bit of interest in the background okay I think I'm gonna do that sharp edges. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, I do want that there. That does look cute. And I do like this here. Yeah. Okay, okay so um, before I get too uh, fancy with throwing things on there, I kind of feel like this... It just needs a bit more something. Or a little bit more something. I don't know. How did I have it? Yeah, I had it like that. Okay. Um, 
like behind that flower that will kind of bring those two things together. I've got, do I have that green? I did have kind of a, kind of a crazy green. All right, let's try a few things. Put the girl in there again, let's see. Yeah, I think I just want that white. Just kind of to break things up and make things interesting. Oh, I forgot. Did I want to get this one above it or below it? Sometimes you have to kind of give it a press from the back to get all of that paper because this one's super thick. The um, element is super thick, so it's not and it's not sticking on that gesso as well as I thought it. And my hands are sticky. So okay, let's see if we can get this to stick down. This on there. As you can see, there's a lot of that stuff on this from the page I tore it off of. But you know what? Um, this isn't the first time I've done this, and it's not something I'm afraid to do. I just, if I don't like the way something's turning out, I really don't have a problem with taking it apart and starting from scratch. Um, I, I go through these uh, journals to get inspiration for other page spreads, and um, if I if I get come across something I just don't like, it's not going to inspire me. It's not going to inspire me to keep going, to do more, to try harder. It's just going to make me give up on that. So, um, and that's what happened with this journal. I kind of was I was just throwing things into it without just to get it over with, just to get stuff on a page, um, which was probably a good thing for me because I really kind of hit an art journaling dry spot over the last couple of years. But um, there's certain things I really, really liked, and this was one of them. And so uh, I'm not embarrassed to say uh, I had to start from scratch, and I had to relocate some of my ephemera. And there, I like that page. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, I might go around it with some pencil on this. I've gotten to the point where I don't actually do pencil on everything anymore. I just kind of pick and choose. So I'm just going to throw some pencil on there real quick. And then, um, and then actually I think I have time for another one, another page spread. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because this was actually really, really fun.
there we go. Everybody got a home. Very vintage. And I think it goes well with this. I think that's a nice page spread. They, they do very well together. Well, I hope you like this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my art journaling, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.